Hi guys, USA Fox here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, sir. It's very nice to meet you. What's going on? <clears throat> You're speaking with USA Fox. I'm here to give a voice to the voiceless. May I have your name? Justin Tucker. Justin Tucker. How old are you? 41. All right. Where are you from, sir? I'm from Brown and City, New Jersey. Can you say that one more time? Burlington City, New Jersey. Oh, Burlington City, all right. Where I right. reside out here in Camden. What brought you out here to this place? Camden, New mm -hmm. Jersey. Just couldn't do what I wanted to do around my way, you know what I'm saying? To like too much family out there. I mean, couldn't let people see what I was doing, so came out here, got mm -hmm. stuck. Does your family know you're out here stuck? Yeah, they know I'm out here now. And how long have you been out here for? Been out here for like five months now, six months, something like that. Okay, it hasn't been that long. Nah, nah, it just came out here. I ain't really know nothing about Canada before now. What's your current living arrangements like? Just uh, hopping from place to place. Okay. You got friends out here? Yeah, yeah, I got friends out here. A couple cousins. Are you currently addicted to any substances at this moment? Yeah. <clears throat> What's your drug of choice? Crack. How long have you been dibbling and dabbling with that? About a year. Mm, hasn't been long. No, nah, not at all. How were you introduced? It was actually by accident. My man, he smoked wolves, basically. He rolls it up with his weed. And not thinking, he all drunk. Passed me the weed and had it in it. Ended up liking it. Mm. For the people who don't know, what are what are woos? What are woos? It's basically you crush the first crack up, you know what I mean, and you put it in your blunt with, the, with either your weed or your tobacco, and you roll it up and you smoke it like that. Mm. So let me get this right. Your friend was smoking woos, and he happened to give you, pass it to you, or something like yeah, that. Pretty and, much. And it was off to the races from there, or basically, yeah. And you never dibbled and dabbled with the crack substance nah. beforehand, huh? Now, before that, no. What was life like before you started dibbling and dabbling with drugs? Before I just worked, smoked weed, took care of my family. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you got any kids at all, sir? Yeah, I got a 17-year-old, a one-year-old, and one on the way. All right, yeah. Gotta get back to him, man. Yeah. Any plans on getting up, up off these streets soon? Absolutely, I, I can't keep doing it. I gotta get, I gotta get off the street before my son born. You know what I'm saying? And that's in a few months, probably like four or five months. Are you still keeping in contact with your baby mother? Yeah, yeah. I just talked to her the other day. Okay. Is she clean and everything? Is she all right? As far as I know, she is. If you could make three wishes right now, what would they be? Never use drugs, at least not no hard drugs. Let me see. Take better care of myself and further my education. Mm hmm Okay. How much are you using daily? It varies from day to day, depending on how much money I got. And how are you managing to make money? Little odd jobs, just doing whatever I can. Any little hustle I can, I can manage to find. Mm. Is there any dangers out here on these streets? Oh yeah, every day. You know what I'm saying, you got positive. You got to worry about people trying to rob you. You know what I'm saying, all types of dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying, especially when you're going from place to place, you never know who's going to be at the place you at. For I mean, for you know, you go lay down. Somebody might see something you you got that they like, like. Your sneaks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You know, they trying to take them from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the craziest thing you witnessed in your year experience out here in Camden? The fact that somebody OD and died and nobody was worrying about getting him any help. They were worrying about running his pockets because they had they knew he had money on them. That's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm I'm assuming that was a friend of yours or somewhat. Nah, I had just met the kid, but you know what I mean? He seemed like a good kid. You know what I mean? When the old D, 
I'm worrying about trying to, you know what I mean, get him some help. Nobody was worrying about that. They just wanted to go in his pocket and make sure he ain't had no more money. And that was it. Now, you mentioned uh, you used to work before this and you had a job. Everything was going good for you, right? Yeah. What was your job op occupation beforehand? I mean, I've had a few jobs, warehouse work. I've been a loan officer for a mortgage company. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the mortgage company probably was the best job I had. Mm. Yeah, it sounds like a good job, man. Nah, it definitely was. Sound like a good job. Now, if you was to get out of here, what, what would you be your plans? Like, probably just find like any type of warehouse job, whatever, so I can save my money. I want to try to open up a food truck. I like to cook. Do you want to get clean? Absolutely. You want to stop using the crack substance? Yes. What's stopping you? I don't know. Nothing really, just except for myself. I just haven't really tried. Has your family uh, spoke to you about it? Tried yeah, to help definitely, you? Definitely, especially my mother. How you think she would feel if she was to see this interview? Disappointed. How do you feel about it? I'm disappointed in myself. I know I can do so. I could have done so much better. Still can. Still can. That's what I like to hear. You can. Now, you mentioned uh, people overdosing and dying out here. Yeah. How often does that happen? Oh, people overdose every day. They don't necessarily die every day, but people overdose. It's 10, 20 overdoses at least a day. And then it's small, too, man. Got a small population. That's crazy. Yeah. Is there a lot of homeless people out here? Definitely. Most of the people that you see walking the streets getting high as homeless. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. How do the police treat you out here? Honestly, like, as long as you stay out their way, they really don't bother you too much. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I guess they got better things to worry about. Do you see change for this place? Yeah, it's already starting to change. Like downtown, they've already cleaned. They're starting to clean up. I'm assuming they're going to just start working their way further and further into Camden as time goes by. Right. Where do you see yourself in the next six months? Hopefully, if not in some type of rehab, finishing up some type of rehab so I can get back to the life I used to have and get back to my family. I heard that. For sure. You struggle eating out here? Put nourishment in your body at all? Nah, that really ain't a problem. Like, there's always like different churches and organizations, you know what I mean, giving out food. So it's hard to go hungry out here. Only way you go hungry if you don't want to eat. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, Justin, you've been a great interviewee for me. I got a few more questions for you. Just gotta think of them off the top of my head. It's been a minute since I've been out here. Okay. You know, I, my name is USA Fox. I'll tell you again, I come out here, I talk to the homeless, the addicted, the people out here stuck on the streets, and I try to get them some help. I try to push them in the right direction, you know, because it's rough out here on the streets, and I don't want to see nobody out here overdosing, dying. I know it's rough. No, it <sighs> definitely is. I wish I could save everybody out here on these streets. But... Unfortunately, some people just can't be saved. Hmm. It's sad to say, but it just says what it is. Some people can't be saved, huh? Yeah, some people just don't want to be saved. What's your thoughts on that? The people who are uh, struggling with their addiction and they don't want to be saved. What you think about them? That's something they, they got to work on within themselves. I'm and, saying, do you feel like it's a mental thing at all? To get to a point is like mentally affecting them? A lot of the times, yeah. Definitely something mental. And mm -hmm. Usually it's some type of prior existing mental issue. But What's your thoughts on the government? I, honestly, the, most of the addiction problems is the government's fault. Like, they're the ones letting the drugs get into the country in the first place. Like, granted, we're the ones doing it to ourselves. But if they really wanted to, they could stop these drugs from coming in. At least they can stop it on the level that it's coming in. Mm -hmm.
Do you see change for this place, Camden, New Jersey? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And probably go back to what it used to be because all the older heads I talked to said Candy would be a real nice place. Mm -hmm. And right now, what would you consider it? Successful. A cesspool? Yeah, definitely. I feel like you hit it right on the money. Yeah. It's crazy how it is. Well, Justin, I'd like to thank you for your time. You've been a wonderful interviewee for me. My name's USA Fox. God bless you, brother. I'm going to be praying for you. I right, thank you. Oh, one more question. Are you religious at all? Yeah, I'm Muslim. Muslim? Right. God bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.